Well, since we're only here for a short time, we might as well have a good time. And remember, it's never too late to have a happy childhood. So get out there and play. And uh, remember, anything worth doing is worth overdoing. So we've been cycling for not so long today, just 42 kilometers because our next warm shower host uh, was not that far away, Marsh Lake. We arrived here maybe a couple of hours ago. Uh, it's a really chill place, like a beautiful wooden house in the forest next to the lake with a couple of cute dogs. And Kara already took a shower. We decided to stop here to do while camping because it's really beautiful. It's called Whirlpool Creek. And uh, we use this one to take a shower. <laughs> Всем, кто путешествует на велосипеде, вот ребят встретил. Э, крутите педали, чтобы ветер был вам всегда был в спину, помогал крутить, открывать, открывать новые дороги, новые страны. Э, и самое главное встречать удивительных людей. Всем мир! Thank you! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the past days we've really enjoyed to have a real kitchen and to be able to cook real things. We've cooked lasagna, pancakes, now we're making a quiche, pink pasta. We have good company, we have Lenny. Do you show Lenny already? Mm -hmm. <laughs> First. These are the veggies for the quiche. We're like making two quiches, one for tomorrow to take on the bike and one for today. Okay. Tomorrow is back to the bike so we have to enjoy a kitchen. Yeah. And this is the house of Caroline. It, uh, it's our host from Warm Shower. She did a really cool trip. <laughs> Just get out from the house of Caroline. Our host that is a really sweet person. We are moving in the direction of uh, Watson Lake. painting and drawing, mm -hmm. um, took one glass class and kind of left the whole thing behind. Okay. <laughs> this is our first beauty bear. We were a little bit scared, but at the end we were over. We stayed close and we made a lot of noise. And the bear spray was close and the bear was cute. So yeah, it's nice to see some people on the road, people cycling. 
cycling because literally nobody cycles here. The only people you see cycling are like other travelers or poor people, basically people who cannot afford a car. of the longest distance we've covered so far with 119 kilometers it was a really long day we were like eight and a half hours cycling we climbed over 1300 meters and we were both really really tired well mostly Chiara but me also yeah I have my period also <laughs> Chiara has her period and it's not the best day Kiara's life today, but uh, we're in a beautiful place. We have nice neighbors. Kiara saw a moose in the distance. And another one to this evening. Ah, you saw two today? The one that is was crossing. Was a moose? Or something else, I don't know, it was a big animal. You uh, didn't see it before? No. no. And this is how we do our dishes with a sponge and uh, water from the river biodegradable soap from care plus from our sponsor elements we're packing it's very mosquito-y so we always have to wear these nets um, by this time we've had mosquitoes in our food i have inhaled mosquitoes i had one in my mouth this morning um, all the mosquitoes. Take like this. <laughs> Kiara is giving me camera lessons on the fly. And yeah, we're on the way to Whitehorse. No, we're not on the way to Whitehorse. <laughs> I'm always forgetting where we're going. I don't know, where are we? close to the continental divide which is a ridge which separates two of the biggest river drainages on the continent yeah, I just put our sticker here on this bin so we're a little while outside of Watson Lake which is like the place where we will buy some new groceries and do our laundry and so on and we're at this place here called Golden Nuggets Golden Nuggets RV and it's a restaurant where they have like a list of cyclists um, that passed here in the past years and it's really nice because some of the people we've met uh, on the road not so long ago and uh, yeah so I'll show you it's quite an impressive list some people have been on the road for like 13 months people all from all over the world we are so happy we just buy new fresh vegetables and through it to not be really in an isolated place this is the nice part because you can buy uh, maybe more fresh food uh, usually for the breakfast we have uh, uh, oats and here in US they have like a different kind of taste during the day we eat some bar usually two not so many because uh, we stop for, for the lunch and uh, yeah it's, uh, Almost ready to go. Tonight we slept here for free. The woman uh, gave to us also the dinner for free. So this morning we had a really big breakfast. <laughs> and uh, we spend all our money on breakfast. Yeah, we have <sighs> eggs and pancakes, <laughs> both. And uh, yeah, maybe it's not so nice to make video in the morning while we are packing because there are always a lot of mosquitoes and. Yeah, it's not really 
the best things. We want to be fast as possible. We keep going. Thank you, Teslin. Watson Lake and this is the sign forest. It's a place where people from all over the world put signs from their towns and their villages. It's difficult to describe what it is but it's impressive. There's some people with the disabled sign there. The best place on earth! One month and a half, 43 days into the expedition. So I think it's a good time to reflect. We've been cycling for eight hours and a half and I'm totally dead. <laughs> and um, all of a sudden there's like a black bear. 